Listen carefully. You don't have to believe what I'm saying. You may even think they're all superstitious, it's a lie. But I know what I'm talking about. Amen. So please listen very, very carefully. There is an entity known as arrows of darkness. They exist. Whether you believe it or not, it does not matter. They exist. There are arrows of darkness. I have seen it manifested. I have seen many examples. Countless number of examples. That's the first part to understand. I shared with you here before something that happened in my former church. That my former church, we don't pray much. We dance more. We take about 10 offerings per service. And in the offering, there will be no usher. You have to dance to the front 10 times and dance back to your seat. So you are always dancing in and out of your seat, in and out of your seat. We will take an offering for those who were healed. We take an offering for those who travel and came back safely. We take an offering for those who have, who have obtained certificates. We take an offering for all kinds of things. And then in addition to those who want to do special thanksgiving. And if they are your friends, you dance after them and follow them to the front. And they carry a plate. Giant plate, but small money. And they dance to the front. We dance after them. I used to feel sorry for my dad. He was a very poor dancer. He dancing behind the woman like that. And the woman who were rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling would be using their bum bum to shook his leg because he could not dance. That's what we were doing there. Not knowing that we were just preparing ourselves for silver golden arrows. The first time this will happen, it's a wedding ceremony. The wedding has finished. The couple were outside. Those who were to take pictures were there. All of a sudden, the bride shouted, Who are these people? And she put her hands in her wedding gown and tore it. They quickly rushed at her, pushed her inside the car, drove her straight to the hospital. Because we that were there, we did not know that there is something known as arrow of darkness. Somebody who was normal throughout the service, was never sick before, had never even taken ordinary panadol before, does not even go to hospital because he's always well. Then all of a sudden, just like that, that's what we call the arrows of darkness. Arrows of darkness. I pray for somebody here that the arrow that is targeting your day of glory will backfire by fire. In the name of Jesus. A seven fold amen. It was another wedding at Ife. The bride after the wedding began to have pounding headaches. She could not sleep. She could not do anything. They rushed out to Lagos. They brought her here. I started praying. The Lord said, call for the video of their wedding. Call for the video. Say, I want to show you something. Call for the video. So I, they, they brought the video. So I started to watch him. During the reception, as they were dancing, they were pasting money on their forehead. They were pasting money. Pasting money. And I was watching. What? There. The one woman like this danced to the front. I noticed that when she danced to the front, no one followed her. She faced the couple alone. She put her inside the bag. At that level, what she brought out was a feather. Not money. She had used her demonic power to keep others from dancing to the front. He now put the feather on the head of the woman. And the feather did not come back to her hand in that picture. The Lord said, that's it. A feather of darkness. An arrow of darkness. True, in that picture, immediately the feather entered into her head. The bride did like this, did like this. She didn't do anything. And they continued the dancing. You really are telling me, mom. Look at me, I'm sorry, I'm I can see that you have been attending those ceremonies. Amen. One prayer let the feather of darkness go back to the senders. That was all. But if we didn't know what happened to that head, you can put cartons and cartons of panadol. It's a lie. Can you shout this loud and clear? Arrows 
fired against my head consciously or unconsciously can you shout it loud your voice is not loud enough backfire by fire in the name of Jesus there is a woman here who needs to pray this prayer Mapiari Katari Kasa Ribasapiari Katandaka In Jesus name we pray Stretch your right hand to the heavens Say my father Put heavenly coals of fire On my hands now Stretch that hand above your head. My father, put heavenly coals of fire upon my hands now. Fire to disgrace the weapon of darkness. In the name of Jesus, now smite your head seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. Sit down for a little bit, madam. Sit down, brothers, sisters, ladies, and gentlemen. So there is an entity known as arrows of darkness. At fact number one. At fact number two. Men and women receive these arrows every day. Every day. Fact number three. The Bible makes us to understand. According to Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 5. That there is an arrow that flyeth by day. So fact number three. There are day arrows. There are night arrows. The Bible makes that one very very clear every arrow by day fired against anyone here shall by fire by fire how many facts have i told you now fact number four most cases of untimely death is due to these sudden arrows sudden arrows it's a terrible thing a professor i've been looking for a child for a long time eventually the wife took him he was teaching in the lecture room that day while they came to break the news that the wife had delivered the baby boy the professor was extremely glad he was beside himself with joy he jumped up for joy by the time he landed on the floor he was dead that's what they call arrows doesn't make sense the way it works fact number five the strength of an arrow and the power thereof depends on the person who shoots the arrow depends on the origin of the arrow fact number six there are special arrows the enemy fires at the righteous righteous so the fact that you are righteous does not mean they won't target you the bible says they shall fight against you but they shall not prevail it didn't say they will not fight they will fight but they shall not prevail can you say they shall not prevail can you shout it three times in psalm 11 verse 2 psalm 11 verse 2 if you are there say yes are you there? So, for lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the string that they may privily shoot. At who? At the upright. There you are. There are special arrows targeted against the righteous. And at fact number seven, the most dangerous arrows. 
are fired by witchcraft because they are public enemy number one public enemy number one public enemy number one please from what i've said so far you will see that walking about saying i'm sanctified i've received salvation i am holy i am righteous i have received the baptism of the holy spirit by the grace of god i'm living a clean life i don't sin i don't lie i don't fornicate i don't steal does not say that they will not fire the arrow please understand that one that's why you find somebody who claims to be holy he has received an arrow somebody who claims to be doing god's work he has received an arrow receive an arrow when a man of god at the age of 70 pastor at the age of 70 is now suspended for sleeping with a girl of 20 and he has been a pastor for 50 years he was a pastor before i was born and now he's gone just like that as the arrow is there so they make ready their arrow so that they can privily shoot privily shoot at the righteous notice the word privily there they be careful they watch the person carefully watch the person very carefully no wonder that him says christians seek not yet repose hack your guidance agency thou art in the midst of foes watch and pray says principalities and power gather their unseen array waiting for your unguarded hour that is waiting for your careless hour waiting for that time when you are supposed to pray you are watching television waiting for that time when you are fighting your wife fighting your husband waiting for that time when you fall into sin and when you enter into that unguarded hour they say yes yes shoot the thing goes in it's after the arrow has gone in father i'm sorry father i'm sorry father forgive me i'm sorry father i'm sorry i'm sorry i promise, promise i will do so again i'm sorry <laughs> yeah but the arrow is already sir. sin already waiting for your unguarded hour watch and pray the song right now says watch as if on that alone watch as if on that alone lies the issue of the day ambushed lies the evil one watch and pray ambush lies the evil one so watch and pray the yoruba hymn book says a shoe back on the daily it's a hunter it's watch so watch and pray so there are arrows for the righteous the most dangerous ones are fired by witchcraft when an arrow comes against a person three things can happen one you either receive the arrow which most people do two it bounces off bounces off and it, in bouncing off it can go to the center it can go anywhere three it can miss you and eat someone else it misses the person and eats someone else and this is a serious matter but the truth is this anyone firing an arrow at a true child of god is seeking for trouble really really trouble everyone may keep quiet for a while but when heavens begin to react it can be terrible any power firing an arrow at a child of god is planning to sink in the red sea like pharaoh any power firing an arrow at a child of god is seeking to be destroyed by god's angel the way an angel destroyed the army of sinakirub any power firing an arrow at the child of god is seeking to receive the stones that fell into the head of goliath any power firing an arrow at the child of god is writing courier letters to substitution and it will be replaced he himself will receive the arrow any power firing arrows at the child of god is seeking to be eaten up with with worms like errors the lord is a man of war he understands all strategies and policies of the enemy maybe you don't know our lord is a mighty and terrible terrible warrior he can employ anything to fight for you 
They can even employ inanimate objects to terrify and destroy the enemy. Everyone may be watching for a little bit. But once our Lord beckons with one finger, one finger, all celestial and terrestrial hosts are ready to fight. The Bible says, Who had hardened his heart against God and has prospered? When God sets himself against an enemy, the enemy is undone. Because riches cannot save the enemy. Strength cannot save the enemy. In the day of God's anger, riches is not, it's not a defense. Money cannot bribe him. The Lord has always disgraced those who try to rise against his children. He makes one to chase a thousand and two to put ten thousand to flight. He knows what the enemy is discussing in their bed chambers. He knows the thoughts of their heart. Perhaps you are here this morning and you have been shedding uninvited tears. You close your eyes, you cannot sleep. You have food on the table but no appetite. You see wrong. Not because you are wrong, but because wrong sees you. I have a message for you today. The repeated affliction shall backfire this morning. And every new affliction shall flee. Let me drop a gentle note of warning this morning. Anybody who wants to deal with anything witchcraft, you have to do it without compromise. You have to be violently determined. You have to behave like those who destroyed Jezebel. Jezebel was there on the top of the house. And Gil said, throw her down. And he threw her down. You have to be that violent. We are getting ready to pray now. As I told you that this is a short message. But now, I want to look at some scriptures. Plenty of them actually. Pass a few comments on those scriptures. Then we are going to start praying now. Anyone who is present in the service of this morning, you did not come here by chance. You must have come by divine ordination and appointment. In Proverbs chapter 28, verse 10, it's good to note these scriptures very well. Proverbs 28, verse 10. Proverbs 28, verse 10. If you are there, say yes. Who so caused the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into his own pit. He shall fall himself into his own pit. But the upright shall have good things in possession. So the Lord is saying that that pit dug for you. They who dug the pit shall fall into that pit. The same Proverbs chapter 26. 26 verse 27. We are looking at principles of dealing with those arrows. In all the scriptures I'm reading, I'm giving you principles. Proverbs 26, 27. Whoso digget a pit shall fall therein. And he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon them. There you are. That is, their weapon should catch them. Now, if you go to Deuteronomy chapter 7, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 15. Deuteronomy 7, 15. It says this. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou rest upon thee. Then listen to what he says. But we lay them upon all them that hate thee. That's what the Bible says. It will not allow the arrow of sickness to come upon you, but it will allow it to come upon your enemies. In the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah, you find Nehemiah after Ezra, before you get to the book of um, Esther. Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 4. Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. You can see the stand of scriptures. Because sometimes when we start praying this prayer, some people say, why is all this in the Bible? This is, this is uh, not, not scriptural. It's not scriptural. That's, that's, that's not scripture you are reading. In Psalm 7, verse 16. Psalm 7, verse 16. It says this. His mischief shall return upon his own head. 
and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own forehead. That's what the Bible says here. I hope you can read it by yourself. And in Psalm 35, which you read this morning, Psalm 35, verse 8, Psalm 35, verse 8, it said, Let destruction come upon him at unawares, and let his net that he had eat catch himself. Into that very destruction, let him fall. So the prayer is, let his own net catch him. The one who made the nets said, Let that net now catch him. The Bible also tells us said, no weapon fashioned, formed, prepared, no weapon fashioned against thee. That is, the specialist sit down in the laboratory and prepare a special weapon against you. They fashioned it. So, but no weapon fashioned like that against you shall prosper. So every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. It didn't say thou shalt pacify, thou shalt beg, thou shalt appeal to them. No, every tongue that rises against thee in judgment, that is, every witchcraft judgment against you, thou shalt condemn. That's what it says. Didn't say you just tolerate them and let them be talking all the nonsense and rubbish you want to talk. The Bible now says something very serious. Look at the book of Esther, chapter 7. You find Esther after Nehemiah that we read before. Esther, chapter 7, verse 10. Esther 7 10. So they hanged Haman on the gallows. That he had prepared for Mordecai. They hanged a man on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. That is why we used to pray mountain of fire. That any power that wants you to die shall die in your own place. Every a man assigned against you shall die for your sake. Let your amen be loud and clear. So when evil arrows are fired, the strategy of the Almighty is that the weapon that is used against you should fall back on the ones who started the weapon. The evil words that are used against you well, should go back to those who originated it. It is a divine principle for his children. I pray that any incantation issued against anyone here shall backfire by fire. Every curse issued against you from any form of coven shall go back to the senders. Every arrow fired against your progress shall backfire. Every assignment of the wicked against you shall acquire acidic violence and go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. We believers do not send curses to people or arrows. But we have a right. To return those ones sent to us because we did not create the forces it was some people who created forces to destroy daniel in the bible they created a force which they hope will destroy daniel but the force that his enemies created was not only rendered powerless but it went back to destroy them i pray that every arrow fired against your family shall be fired every will plot against you shall go back to the sender and if your amen can be very loud, the bullet of your enemy shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. The bullet of your enemy shall destroy them. You shall destroy them. He shall destroy them. In the name of Jesus. A seven fall, amen. These days, a lot of people just sleep. And they experience somebody strangulating them on the bed trying to choke them upon the bed as the arrow some tell you they hear voices telling them to do strange things as the arrow a sister was giving testimony at presity that in the night she just stood up took off her clothes and was about to walk out into the streets children asleep husband asleep then she heard a voice daughter go back go back 
it was then her eyes cleared and she saw herself and she was wearing nothing the enemy wanted to throw her into the streets mad if there is anyone here this morning and there's an arrow to make you insane may that arrow of insanity double its power and go back to the center in the name of jesus a sevenfold amen the amen is not loud enough the sevenfold amen someone has been happy all of a sudden a sudden depression comes upon the person a heaviness that's the arrow when the bible says it gives beauty for us the oil of joy for money the garment of praise inside of the spirit of heaviness now heaviness has entered so the person who woke up saying praise it lord praise the lord praise god praise god the mood everything has now changed it's an arrow needless fear it's an arrow a pimple on the face something say is leprous fear needless fear pimple on top of the breast somebody say this is cancer needless fear it's an arrow that is what you call paralytic wind some people just some breeze will blow upon them like this they just go paralyzed may those evil wind go back to the senders sometimes it's a cold chill at night even in a hot room the temperature of the person just falls an arrow of witchcraft sometimes the head or some parts of the body they feel heavier than other parts of the body it's an arrow sometimes some parts of the body will be shaking on their own without anybody touching them it's an arrow i've seen people they prepare food by themselves not that they bought the food from outside but as they ate the food they were finding insects and parts of a uh, body of uh, tiny tiny animals inside the food the arrow of witchcraft some dream that the air is cut off or they wake up without anybody entering their room they find a part of their air had been cut off some arrow of witchcraft sometimes they send demon idols to people demon idols come to people physically you see them physically come to accost people it's an arrow of witchcraft sometimes they even send snakes live snakes to people sometimes it's spiritual snakes to people it's an arrow of witchcraft sometimes it's heat in the head but you just be hot you don't know what is going on it's the arrow of witchcraft I want somebody in this meeting this morning to get sufficiently angry in the spirit to fight back and fight and win. It's a very serious matter. Sometimes people hear their names being called. It calls the name. And unfortunately, some answer. I say yes. I say, Mommy, why are you saying yes? Uh, didn't you call me? No. Nobody called you here. And generally, such people die within a few days may any voice calling anyone here from the grave be silenced by fire in the name of jesus let that amen roar like thunder sometimes they feed people with what they will ordinarily not eat they will feed them without food in their dreams some arrow of witchcraft sometimes people dream a female with male organ male sexual organ will be sleeping with them carrying a female face but having a male sexual organ it's a terrible arrow indeed sometimes it's sudden pain in the body they go to the hospital they check x-ray check everything nothing sometimes they have prepared an arrow for somebody in the village and they say somebody's dying somebody's dying come home come home come home only for you to rush down, you found that nobody was sick. I say, well, it's just a long time we have seen your face. And if you say you should come, you will not come. It's an arrow. People seen themselves inside coffins, seen themselves dining with the dead. It's an arrow of witchcraft. 
many who are here this morning unfortunately we have been attacked at one time or the other with these weapons if you were attacked as a baby it is possible that the arrow is even still in you if you were attacked before you got born again it is possible that the arrow is probably still in you if you are attacked when you were ignorant it is possible the arrow is still inside but what you should learn today is to send the arrow back to the senders you do not have to exercise fear you have to plead the blood of jesus as a covering for yourself and begin to demand that the arrows should go back to the senders i shared with you here many years ago the story of how an occultic man got born again that occultic man is now a pastor it was a face my face with kind of accommodation this occultic man was in one room the sister was in the room next to him and the son of the woman was sick she had one son and the son was sick it was a strange sickness so she started praying for the baby praying for this child when she prayed 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 prayed, prayed the child would be okay for a little bit after some time the conversion will start again this woman will start praying 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 and then the child would relax again after some time this child will start again this woman will pray 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 not knowing that by the second room this occultic man was the one killing the child he had put a nail somewhere and when he bounced the nail inside the child begins to converse in the other room and when the woman begins to pray the force of her prayer will be pushing out the nail pushing out the nail pushing out the nail then the nail falls down and the boy says, mommy i'm okay the man takes the nail again put it back Bwah! the child starts again and this battle went on from 7 a.m in the morning till 5 in the evening the woman kept praying and the man kept putting the nail after some time the man came out carried the concussion knocked the woman's door say madam madam i have a feeling that your child is not okay give him this concussion to drink if she had accepted it that would have been the end she said thank you i don't want i do not want for those of you who are still drinking concussions god have mercy on you the man now went back to his room i said okay this is enough this woman is embarrassing me now brought out his satanic drum and began to call forth for the face of the woman and her child to kill them on the drum their faces were supposed to appear in that drum and they would put a nail through it and that would have been the end of the two of them so she prepared the drum made all the incantations she was supposed to call their names three times she called the name first time no one appeared she called the name second time the woman and her child appear brought out his nail to stick into the drum just a split second for him to do that the face of an old man appeared gray hair smiling and said i am the alpha and omega i am the ancient of days now pack all your fetish power here together and go to that church over there because that woman is my daughter you cannot kill her you cannot kill her son all these powers you have here you can now see that they are useless this was how the man surrendered his life to jesus rise up on your feet below all eyes closed but you see if you are here this morning and you are not born again you have not surrendered your life to jesus do so very quickly now very very quickly now by raising up your right hand and say what i'm going to say after so father in the name of jesus i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life in jesus name amen you said that short prayer with me immediately we close just find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you all eyes closed obviously you can see that we're not here to joke we're here for serious business we're going to start our prayers with the song we sang last jump out jump out evil arrows in my body in my progress in my family they must jump out we are going to start with that song and when you are singing it just open your eyes and begin to do what i'm doing whatever i do you do as you are singing that song because as you are singing that song it's an order it's a command the bible said thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established 
Thou shalt decree a thing. Jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. If you are in my body, jump. Oh yeah. Oh. Where is that? Where is that? Hallelujah. Jump out, jump out. Where is that? Hallelujah. Jump. Hallelujah. Where is that? Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Where is that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where is that? Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Yes, sir. He will have. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. close now with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder say I fire back every arrow of witchcraft now in the name of Jesus open your mouth and declare it Jesus is here something must happen in your life today Barriabo Pasitala. Fire it back. That's why you are here. Aha, aha, aha. This is not a day to negotiate. Louder, 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 louder. We are not here to play. I fire back. Every hour of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. You see what is happening now? See what is happening now? That's right. Say, arrows of reproach, arrows of embarrassment, arrows of limitation. Can you shout those three arrows? Say, 
Sisters, your voices are not loud enough. Everybody together now. Everybody together again. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, my Peter Satele Kayaba, Ribo Saponte Kayabo Shantaraba. Yes, Jesus name we pray uh-huh. this is wonderful with a louder voice Allah! insulting my faith can you shout that loud backfire in the name of Jesus Continue, continue, continue. Jesus is here. Aha, that's it. That's how to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. enemies backfire in the name of Jesus the arrows of envious enemies Jesus thank you Jesus Jesus name we pray a sevenfold man stretch your right hand towards the heavenlies again say my father put hot coals of fire Fire of complete deliverance upon my hands now. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere I smite with my hands, let the arrows go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. Start with your head again. Three times. One, two, three. Go to your chest. One. Look at what is happening over there. Two. Three. Go to your stomach. Close to your belly button. Close to your belly button. One. Two. Three. Now go to your back. Your back. Your back. One. Two. That woman over there having issues with your womb. Go to your womb area. One. Don't feel sorry for that place. Do it again. One. Two. Three. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Now begin to speak into the womb of this month. 
tell it what it should deliver to you. Tell it what it should not deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, shall I say, tell somebody here that although it looks impossible or unachievable, but that before this year runs to an end, your testimony shall shock your friends and surprise your enemies. Let the amen roar like thunder. Father, I cover your people with the blood of Jesus. As you go into this month, it shall be well with you. The Holy Spirit will change the rules for your sake. The law will arise for your sake in every area. It is written, As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. Father, I pray that any stranger contesting for the life of your children, let them be embarrassed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. The arrows that have gone back to the senders today, shall never come back to you again. The spirit of Jehovah, which is the everlasting spirit, shall arise and defend you. It is written, the Lord has his way in the wind and the wild wind. I command your way to open. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is victory, there is victory, there is victory in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood. There is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Power! Power, there is power, there is power, there is power, there is power in the blood of power, there is power, there is power. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power, there is power mighty in the blood. Power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the blood, there is There is power, there is power. Yes. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood. In the blood, there is power mighty. The blood of Jesus, the blood of the blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The blood of Jesus, uh, the blood of Jesus, uh, the blood of Jesus, the blood, uh, the blood of Jesus, uh, the blood of Jesus, 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 the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, when I walk in the precious blood, of, there is power, there is power, power, power. When I walk in, in, the, in the blood of the Lord, power, 
Blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, has delivered me. The blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. Eh. Blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me, eh. has delivered me. Blood of Jesus has delivered me, has delivered me. Oh, he delivered me. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 Listen, beloved. Immediately we start praying now. The power of God will begin to move from person to person. It will begin to disgrace, paralysis, stroke, cancer, confusion, frustration, stress, headaches, migraines, nightmares. It will begin to disgrace every plantation of darkness. You will shout this louder than anyone around you. Say, foundational witchcraft of my father's house. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Something must happen in your life here this morning. There must be a turn around. I must be a change. Masopoko pola kaponda sanda. Ribolo kaponda kesentia. Mana kaponda kesepola kaya boshente raba. Possession, 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 possession. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, if you have any stubborn infirmity in your body, just lay your hands upon the place now while we pray this next prayer. After this next prayer, I will now pray a short prayer. And if that infirmity is a plantation of the witchcraft, it will jump out and go back to the senders. This next prayer is not something you should joke with. Please. If you pray this one, your voice goes away and you got a breakthrough, you have, you have made a good bargain. Say, negative power from my foundation assigned to kill my destiny. Can you say this loud and clear? As a sister of whether that needs to shout this like no man's business. Because already you've been surrounded by these powers. You have never known peace all your life. This is an opportunity. Can we shout it again loud and clear? Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Say Paul can there. Ribo soponde kaya bo shente la ba kaya ba. Ba ka ribo soponde kaya bo shente ya ba. Now power of God begin to move, 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 move. Every infirmity in the head, in the eyes, in the womb, in any part of the body that the enemy are sitting there, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted. Be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. 
Asika poya bo shende rabo kontia. Repo li kantenda. In Jesus name we pray. Oh, I wish you could see what is happening. That's right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on that place. Father, your word says, Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Your word says, You have given us a name which is above all names. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Father, any witchcraft sponsored infirmity in anybody's life now, let the power in the blood of Jesus flush them out of that position in the name of Jesus be flushed out 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 out. in the name of Jesus check your body now check it very well touch that fiber it has gone back to the spirit husband that put it there touch the ania and the goiter it has melted away touch the cancer it has disappeared check the terrible migraine it has gone check the serpent moving from one part of your womb to the other it has gone back to the senders check the unusual high temperature you have been having your temperature is now normal check there are plenty of things happening now something is blocking somebody's throat that thing has been cleared away by the fire of god someone is saying you have been smelling death 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 and you can even smell the rottenness from your inside the sweet smell of the holy spirit has replaced the rottenness now that person with unexplainable body itches look at your body now you find that the witchcraft marks that are causing the itching has just vanished there is someone here a miracle has happened in your life now that will shock your doctors by the time you report to them next week plenty of things are happening here i see hands being cut off and being replaced the hands of poverty and non-achievement has been cut off and a new hand has come into position thank you jesus thank you jesus you will now shout this with boiling anger i recover tenfold all my wasted years this is an important prayer i recover tenfold all my wasted years in the name of jesus recover them tenfold recover them today is today in jesus name we pray silence why the recovery is going on 50 persons here have been delivered from parental witchcraft that's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. That's right. Number thirty, number forty, and number fifty. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. So many things have been pulled out from so many lives plantation of witchcraft in the head the one in the eyes the one in the chest and the heart the one in the womb the one in the stomach the one in the legs they've been pulled out they've been pulled out by the power of god father i pray this person has been dreaming of dead persons right there where you are the arrow of death fired into your heart let the arrows go back to the senders now in the name of jesus receive your complete restoration in the name of jesus thank you jesus 
silence. Listen very carefully. If you've checked your body and you find that the healing power of God has touched you and an infirmity you brought here has vanished, please, I beg you, don't allow the enemy to put them back on you. Just quickly find a way to the altar here so we can put a seal on that testimony. That is, when you lay your hands on your body just now, and as we were praying, a particular condition that you had disappeared. Just quickly find a way to this altar now. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. This is a very, very serious time. Somebody came here, the witchcraft powers have captured your menstruation. Please go to the ladies and check now. The menstruation is back. And then find a way to the altar here to tell us. Glory be to the name of the Lord. The enemy has fired an arrow inside the bone of somebody. Something is happening inside that bone now. You can actually hear the cracking of the bone as the power of God is threatening it out. Let's try it. Find a way to the frontier. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Every witchcraft dog backing against my breakthroughs. Can you say this loud and clear? Is that the loudest you can shout it? In the name of Jesus, silence their voices. Their voices must be silenced. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus name we pray there are 12 persons here I have a message to you from the Lord as a result of the prayer you pray just now before this month runs to an end you shall have uncommon promotion uncommon testimonies all the problems that have been making you to cry in an uncommon miraculous way they have been converted to testimonies now I a woman here somebody with terrible witchcraft powers are threatened you and this person is working really hard to eliminate you within the next seven days if this person does not leave you alone the person shall die Look, look at something that's happening there. The enemy has put a balloon in somebody's tummy. The tummy is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And the balloon of the enemy has been taken out. Find a way to this altar here. That's the power of God. That's, that's his power. That's his power. Don't be afraid. Stretch that bad leg. It has started to function now. Reappear. Now this is a time to pray this prayer. Every assembly of witchcraft. Walking against me. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the assembly by the power in the blood of Jesus. Scatter the assembly, scatter the assembly. Masikaya bo shente rabo kote raba sanda. Maribo soponde kaya bo shente rabo. Maria kapola kaya bo shente raba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. The assembly must scatter. In Jesus name we pray this next prayer I want you to pray immediately we will set our mouth on it new organs will come into the body where bad ones are presently in and organs of the body turn upside down we assume their right position and those who are here and doors, good doors have closed against you those good doors will begin to open us from today. 
Say every dream sponsored by witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the dreams. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Moseke yabo shende raboko la baraba. Bakapo se tekente. Dekete rabo shende raboko mpo. Dari abo sanda. Nakapo la bo sopo la kaya bo shente rabo. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. There are three sisters in this meeting. You have one thing in common. You lost your husband a while ago. These husbands were occultic people. They buried your virtues before they died. But right there where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil barrier has been destroyed. Aha. And the world stolen from you has not been restored tenfold. The enemy has taken away this scrotum of one man. Brother, check it now. That scrotum is back into position. Things are happening here. Yes. That witchcraft pile. The fire of God is burning your backbone. And you are being released from that yoke. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this with only anger. Every power troubling my star. This is an important prayer, beloved. Many stars have been troubled, and many stars are killed untimely. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Make it louder than that. Make it even louder than that. Damn! In the name of Jesus, that is the miracle power of God. It's flowing from person to person, from person to person. Baka po sepe la kaya bo shende kantea. Ribo soponde ketende kea. Mana kaponde setele koyaba. Riaboko pishatinda raba. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Something has just happened to somebody. It is important that you come out and talk to somebody here. So that the enemy will not put this problem back. Don't be shy. You know yourself. Something powerful has happened to you now. Right now. Find a way out and quickly talk to somebody. If you can't find somebody by yourself, come and talk to one of the ushers. Tell the usher what has happened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You now declare this loud and clear. Say, November. December. 2006. Can you say that loud and clear? You shall not be my cauldron. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that those men shall not be your cauldron. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Pick a song of praises in your mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Listen to me carefully. Please ensure you don't leave this meeting until I've prayed the ceiling prayer. Because the enemy is still planning to waste so many people this year. 
But as far as you are under the cover of that ceiling prayer, together with the warfare prayers you have prayed today, any power that wants to kill you shall kill itself. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for these wonderful miracles and testimonies. I decree that they should be permanent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Right there where you are, I want you to pray one powerful prayer. Say every involvement of witchcraft in my finances. Scatter now! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up your two hands to the heavens as you pray these prayers on your hands. As you pray these prayers on your hands, raise it up to the heavens. Anointing to prosper in an uncommon way. Fall upon my hands in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that one loud and clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your amen be dynamic as I pray now. Father, I pray for all who are gathered here today. At any seed of witchcraft planted in the life of any child, planted in any home, planted in any business, planted in anybody's organs, your word says, any tree that the Father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Every seed of witchcraft planted in our lives be uprooted now by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. Be uprooted by fire. I decree that the confidence of the enemy, the confidence of the enemy upon any life here, let that confidence be broken in the name of Jesus. You the serpent and scorpion of affliction. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let's lay one hand on our head now. And one hand on our belly button as I pray these ceiling prayers. Father, I commit your children here unto your holy hand. It is written that they to the hills will raise up their head, but from there comes their help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. You will not suffer their feet to be moved, for if that keepeth them will not slumber. That keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord shall keep you going and you're coming out. The Lord shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any plague come near your camp. As you go, it shall be well with you. Every power that is throbbing our life that we have asked to die today, they shall never resurrect. Affliction will not rise again. Right there where you are, I speak unto you by the spirit of prophecy that danger will not come close to you. And tragedy shall not be your lot. Every power contesting for your testimony, those powers shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, any attempt by the enemy to embarrass you shall result in disgrace of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, good roads that the enemy cannot close, I decree that it shall open to you now. In the name of Jesus, and any power that wants to attack anyone as a result of the prayers here this morning, let those powers be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Evelyn.